that we are home of the world's largest handmade candy cane, it completely 100% handmade. That candy cane is a little bit over 36 pounds in weight. It is a little bit over 16 feet long and it's actually going to be 17 years old uh, this year on December 24th. Still in the same proportion that we make all our candy canes. It is the same recipe we've been using since 1933. Uh, we do a little bit different hook. Uh, our candy canes tend to start out a little thin at the bottom and get a little bit uh, uh, thicker at the top and throughout the entire year uh, Christmas of course being the biggest candy cane season we do make about a hundred to hundred and ten thousand per year we do them for weddings parties uh, uh, baby showers all that kind of stuff also oh we actually may have a wide variety of candies we make we make uh, a full line of chocolates uh, fudges peanut brittles caramel apples uh, we do all our candy canes ribbon candy we actually manufacture here over 200 different items although we carry over 600 throughout the entire store. I was uh, in college, I was a business major. I'd already been working here for about uh, 12 years, uh, I'm sorry, about eight years. And I was working on a business major. Uh, my dad had owned his own business and it just, the doors just kind of all pulled together and opened up at the same time. And we were able to purchase the store. So I, it's not something I ever dreamt of that I want to one day be a candy maker or own my own business necessarily, but uh, it just kind of ended up falling in our, hand, in our hands eventually, so. This is no joke, the kid in the candy store Every single time a kid walks in, it's that instant like, oh my gosh, whoa, look at that, mom, it's only 30 bucks, whoa. Like, so it's really cute seeing that and like seeing every kid that comes in, it's a totally different experience for each and every one of them. We have some pretty crazy customers come in, but for the most part, everybody are really, they're just really excited about what they're buying and it's the holidays, so everybody's just like excited to be here and excited and happy to be buying what they're buying. Um, whereas other places, I think people are just kind of like in and out and they don't really care. But here, you know, you can talk to people at the holidays, talk to people about um, what they like about Christmas or Thanksgiving or whatever. And I don't know, it's just like a really good feel kind of a place. And plus, I mean, since it's family owned, you kind of just step into this family and you are just a part of it. And it's just so fun. My favorite thing, though, is when guys come in and um, want presents for their wives or their like significant others and stuff like that. So it's really cool because you get to help that person. and. Um, kind of picture what they're trying to get together for that gift and stuff, so that's what I like doing. My grandparents and my aunts and uncles are actually family friends with the owners, so we've, we've been coming here for a long time. My favorite part was when they were bending the candy cane. My favorite part and mostly when I got to eat them. <laughs> my favorite part is, is the little, um, the Easter egg basket that um, that was made out of candy cane. And mostly eating the candy cane. Um, basically we just take everybody outside and we put them in front of this big display window and he starts by putting sugar, water, and corn syrup into a big copper pot and he brings it up to 320 degrees, boils it for about 45 minutes, pours it out on a two inch uh, marble slab and then just starts cooling it down because it's like really hot. So, and then um, after that uh, once it gets hot enough for him to work with his hands, he splits it into two main parts. The smaller part, he puts red dye in, and the bigger part gets the peppermint flavoring, and then he stretches it out once it's cool enough to um, be able to like pick it up without it just spilling everywhere. He starts to stretch it out, and that's what turns it white, and then eventually he cuts five little red stripes and then puts the big, the big red stripe on, on the white part, which he's already made into a huge cube, and then flattens out the end, rolls it all together, and, and we start hooking candy canes. I do everything from, um, um, I'll roll the candy canes to make sure they're cool enough, I'll bend them sometimes, bag them, tape them, help customers, anything, anything you need. <laughs> they're just amazing, they're my favorite. I eat them all day long. <laughs> it's a great uh, place to work, we've got great employees. I've got some employees that have been here uh, all 32 years that we've worked here, that we've owned the store. I've personally worked here for 40 years. Um, yeah, it's, it's a lot of fun. It's a fun atmosphere. I mean, we make it because we love to eat candy, but uh, obviously we love to have people uh, taste our product. And remember, it's always fresh, always handmade right here in the back room. And as soon as it cools down, it's ready to take out front. We're ready to sell it. So.